she was seven so I have two little topic that I'm, I mean two topics that I'm going to cover in this video um, one is um, what do you do if your family members are jealous of your man and trying to steal him or want him for themselves like cousins sisters aunts whatever what do you do when they like your man and they're always flirting with them at family events and they're just like secretly trying to steal him behind your back or hook up with him and give them, you know, uh, hints and clues that they want to do things with them. Okay. I just put that extra part in because I didn't know if this is what they were doing. So I just added my part in. Okay. Um, well you if you're married first of all if you're married it's different if you're that's just your boyfriend it's another thing but they shouldn't be trying to steal your man or be jealous of you because of your man if you know if they're truly loving family members which most are not they're just stuck in the family with you <laughs> um so i would say if that happened to me i would like make a big announcement like and, and, and make people embarrassed of themselves for throwing themselves out there like that out because like sometimes you just got to act a fool okay so let's say you walk into your family event and all the cousins and ladies are looking at your man and saying oh he's so cute I, I want I, I'm, I'm you know I want to hook up with him and da, 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 da. just make a big formal announcement and tell your man about it before you get there and tell him why you're doing this and like make sure it's you discuss this prior because you have issues with you know these people so you've already discussed it with your man so he's already cool with it right say okay like make an announcement say okay ladies i know y'all are all lusting after my man i know he's good looking but y'all need to find y'all own um <laughs> make them feel stupid and embarrassed because if they're spotted like talking to him or flirting with him they're gonna look desperate okay so just make a funny announcement and you know like do a toast and start it off cute first hi i'd just like to say i'm so happy to be here today with all of my family members and if those of those of you don't know who this is this is such and such my man my boyfriend my husband and uh he's the love of my life and i know all you single ladies out there and ladies who um have a wandering eye will be uh trying to uh, talk to my man this evening i just want you to know i don't mind if i wasn't attached to him i would be doing the same thing as well so enjoy your conversations get to know each other but y'all just want to let y'all know he's coming home with me okay you know make a silly stupid announcement and people are gonna be like this girl is crazy but you know now i can't even go up to him and pretend because <laughs> they couldn't know what i'm doing and and now that the man is aware that all the women are going to want him, they're going to think, now they're going to think your man's trying to exploit them because he thinks he's all that. So they're going to stay far away from him, y'all. They're going to be like, mm, he think he must think he's all that for me to be flirting with him. I'm not even going to give him my time of day. You know, they're not going to give you the satisfaction of flirting with your man after that point. They're not going to give you the satisfaction of being seen next to your man trying to talk him up because you've already made that announcement that you know that's what they're trying to do and now if they even try to do it they're going to look silly and your man's going to think oh they really want me and maybe they'll go fix me an extra plate or maybe they'll go get me another glass of wine uh, maybe they'll like basically be my servant <laughs> so they're going to be like appalled and you know disgusted and they're not even going to go near your man they're just going to smile at him from across the room and talk to somebody else so you have to get it up and out of the way 
Make it public. Make it known that you know what's going on. You got to embarrass people for making themselves look stupid. Okay? That's, I mean, you have, sometimes, if and if you're the shy type, you're the shy type that just won't do that. You need to get someone else to do it in your family for you. Like, you know, there's always that gay cousin that wants to speak out loud. You know, you know, there's somebody that will do it for you if you can't do it for yourself. Or, um... You know, you can look insecure and stay by your man the entire time and hold on to his arm and make sure no one tries to steal him, but that's just going to even make it more tempting to take him away from you. So I suggest the, I suggest the little announcement toast or get one of your cousins or uncles to do it for you. Uh, and, you know, that's just the best way I can think to handle it because, you know, sometimes you just have to be blunt to get your point across. Okay. The second topic I'm going to cover, there was a comment that someone made. I don't know if she wants me to say her name, but I'm just going to say the last part of her name is Star. And you know you are. Okay, she commented on one of my videos. So many men these days have never seen how a real man interacts with and treats a woman. They have confused their role with that of being a woman. Uh, some think they are the prize. So basically she's saying men have confused their role with women's role and men actually think they are the prize. Um, this, this is funny because that's so true. Men are not the prize y'all. Uh, <laughs> uh, and the reason that they think this is because they feel like there's more women on the earth than there are men. So they think they're in demand, which really is not true because lots of women are lesbians. Okay. Um, and also Lots of women won't have anything to do with certain men, okay? And lots of men are gay. So if you take all those odds and evens and, you know, it, it becomes back, basically there's enough to go around. And a lot of women are not really attached. So a lot of these men are just single who are you know, claiming to be in a relationship, but they're not really attached because they're going out making children with other people anyway. So basically the man is not the prize. The woman is always the prize because the woman is the person who creates family, who raises children, who are, uh, who's the matriarch of future generations to come. The woman is the prize. Okay. There was this uh, meme that I saw floating around on Facebook and it was kind of funny, but the meme said there was a grandmother and she was sitting in the room full of her family members and a thought crossed her mind that if it was not for her vagina, 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 <laughs> if it was not for her vagina, none of these people would be here. Okay. None of them would be here if it was not for her vagina. Now I know people are going to argue, Oh, what about the sperm? What about the sperm? Sperm is a, very easy thing to get okay let's just say that we all women we know sperm is easy to get right but it takes nine months to grow and nurture and choose like remember women have a choice now to grow a child inside their stomach inside their womb to birth it and then to raise it to give it the things it needs it takes a woman to do that okay Men can spray sperm and women all day. If women don't want that sperm, they can wash it out. They can take the after, um, the day after pill, the plan B pill. They can get abortions. They can do all that stuff. Your sperm does not equal life, okay? A uh, conscious decision to have this child. Unless you tie up a woman and impregnate her and force her to give birth, that's the only way, okay, that you you have any type of control over her giving birth deciding to have a child or not okay so y'all remember that men you are not the prize the woman is the prize you are the effect we are the cause y'all are the effect so in order to get results in this world in order to get somewhere in this world you have to go through the woman always okay now i know a lot of this is probably a little bit too deep but if you look into metaphysics spirituality it's always gone back to the woman okay uh, I'm not trying to down men or anything. I'm just saying women are the prize. Okay. Why do you think people kidnap women and not men? Because we're a prize. 
And then and why do people abduct females versus grown men? Okay, because we're a prize. Okay, and so are children. We are valuable. That's why we're the most abducted because we're valuable. People see, and I know that's kind of sick, but there is something that is very sought after in the world: compassion, love, nurturing. Um, you know, and women only women and children can really give that to a man unless. The man is homosexual and he feels like he can get that from another man. But still he has his mothers and his sisters and, you know, uh, cousins and family members, grandmothers to get that nurturing from. Okay. A woman is almost the equivalent of basically having a mother, a, a mother. So, you know, if you felt like, guys, if you feel like you could have been raised without a mom, then, of course, I don't see a problem with uh, thinking you're the prize. But women are always the prize. They're always going to be the prize. Why do you think there's so many men who want to be women? Because we're a prize. And I'm not trying to be sexist or anything. It's, I mean, even if you read the Bible, it's in the Bible. You know, women are precious like gems and da 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 Yes, we are. Because we hold the key to life. You know? We are a, we are almost a spiritual magical creature because we can bring life onto the planet you know so y'all have to realize that y'all can't be looking at it as oh who's going to pay for this meal and who's going to pay for that meal and i look good and i i have nice um features because i'm a man and i look good in skinny jeans no your mom gave you all that <laughs> your mom gave you all those looks you know your dad contributed your some DNA as well, but your mom raised you and fed you and nurtured you so you wouldn't be malnutrition, you know. She took vitamin D so you wouldn't be born with a cleft palate. She took prenatal vitamins for you. She drank water for you while you were. She went through pain of labor so you could be here. She sacrificed money for you because when you get pregnant, you lose money. You don't get paid, okay? You lose time at work if you work. You got to pay hospital bills. You got to do all that. So you were sacrificed for by a woman, men. So no, you are not the prize. You are the result of a prize. Okay? Keep that in your heads because y'all are getting a little bit too ahead of y'all selves. Okay? Y'all remember there's so many people who are donating sperm and sperm banks. Women don't need to attach themselves to someone, you know? If they just want the love and companionship, uh, companionship. If they just want the love and companionship um, of a man, yes. But they don't really need it. You see, there's a difference. Um, also, you know, men, they, some of them understand what it is to be a man. A lot of them do. A lot of them don't because they've never seen it. They've never seen they grew up in the in the early 2000s and late 90s and they don't know what being a real man is. They they're used to seeing uh like music and videos downgrade women and they've never seen the early 90s where all the music was romantic, the 80s when the music was romantic, when men loved women the right way. They've never seen an example of that, okay? A lot of people are born out of wedlock. They don't see their fathers loving their mothers. So they don't know how to treat a woman, okay? And there's plenty, there's plenty of ways to learn how to treat a woman. You ask them what they want. You don't get mad because they ask you uh, to pay for a meal. You don't get mad because they want to uh, be provided and protected for it. That's what y'all are supposed to be doing, okay? Y'all just don't know this because no one taught you, okay? And I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, that's gender roles. Well. If you don't want gender roles in your house and in your relationship, don't be mad when your son or your daughter walks up to you and said, I don't want to be any of the gender I was born. I don't want to play a gender role. You know, don't be mad at them because you set the tone. You set the tone for your life and there's nothing against being, I mean, there's nothing bad about wanting to be this gender or that gender, but there's a lot of men out there who don't want to take on their uh, male roles and then are upset at their sons or daughters for not want to claim a gender either. So you got, you have to take it both ways if 
that's how you're going to think, okay? You can't be mad. If your daughter or your son comes home one day and says, you know what, I don't want to be, I'm going to be like mom. She does everything, you know. She cooks, cleans, works, pays half the rent, looks good in a dress, knows how to do makeup, hair, nails. And all you do is go to work, come home, sit on the couch. You don't know how to do nothing. I don't want to be like you. Don't be mad, okay? Don't be mad because... That's what it's going to come to. And you're going to have start having a lot of men who are wanting to be women, which is, is starting now. These men are acting more and more like women. All you need is a dress. Y'all already got the skinny jeans and the tights. All y'all need now is, I mean, y'all got skirts too, y'all. What, what do you think they're trying to do to y'all? They're, they're turning you into women, okay? Women might as well be lesbians. Women might as well say, hey. I have to pay for my own meal anyway. I might as well go get a girl. The masculine woman will at least pay. You know, someone asked me in the comments, who pays on a date between two lesbians? The masculine one. Okay, I'll see you later.